right. Hi, welcome to Full Body Pilates. My name is Sophia. I'll be guiding you through your practice. Today we'll be using a uh, light set of weights and also a Pilates ball. If you have one, um, a little uh, ball is going to be a great prop. If not, a rolled up towel, beach towels, I have two rolled up together, really dense, will work just as well. But I, I'm going to use the ball today. So um, actually, I'm going to use both. So have your props nearby, your water, and let's get started. We have our weights. Come to seated on your mat, placing your weights on either side of your mat, and then we'll start with the ball right away. So the ball or your towel will go right at your lower back, right between your lower back and your seat, kind of smooshed under there. Place your hands behind your knees. Take a deep breath in. Find a nice, long vertical spine, rooting down to your sits bones, breathing into your upper rib cage, belly pulled in. And as you exhale, keep this length. Begin to C curve your spine, rounding down into the ball. Start to straighten your arms and push yourself into the ball. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, hold it here. Inhale, curl back up to seated, sit up nice and tall, and then we'll repeat that breath to movement now. Exhale, curl down, rounding through your lower back and, and sacrum and uh, pubic bone. And then inhale, roll back up. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in and breathe out to roll down. Feel your abdominals even just in this movement. Inhale, scoop back up, scoop back up. And exhale, curl back down. Inhale, roll back up. Now hold it here. We're going to add on weights in your hands. Option for your hands to your heart center or weights behind your knees to prep. Take a deep breath in and exhale. We scoop and curl down. Now pause here. Reach one hand out in front of you, followed by the other. Micro bend your elbows so you're creating a wide um, oval shape. Shoulders down your back. Avoid looking up. Keep your chin in ever so slightly so the back of your neck is long. Now we're adding this extra lever of weight, so this becomes more challenging to even hold. We're going to add on. Inhale your right arm overhead. Exhale back to center. Ex inhale left arm overhead. Exhale back to center. Now we alternate. Right arm forward, left arm forward. Continue to do that. As you reach your weight over yourself, make sure that you stop in line with your shoulders so you're not going too far back and you're not rotating open. Your chest is squared towards your knees. Root down through your feet if you need to. Walk your heels in a bit. Let's go for four. And we'll add on in three, two, on one. Both hands forward, reach both arms up. Now this becomes even more challenging. Open your arms to a V position, elbows bent, and then back through center. So out to a V and back through center. Out through the beat and back through center. Continue to go just like this. Hi! We're using weights and a ball or a towel today. Here for four, last three. We'll pause in the V in two. On one, pause it here. Now we're adding rotation. Rotate towards your left hand. As you do so, connect your palms together, your weights, and then open back up. So it's an exhale to rotate. Inhale to open. Continue to scoop your pelvis forward and press your lower back into the ball. There's really little to no weight there though, so that you are using your abdominals to remain suspended in this shape. Let's go for two more on this side. A little rotation and gauge them through your left oblique. And then back to center. Now we repeat on the other side. So this is really a full upper body exercise. Not only are we working our abdominals, but we're working through our arms as well. Let's even it out. Last five and center. Four and center. Three, center. Two, center. Last one. Open up. Pause here. Reach your arms forward above your knees. Now bicep curls, waist to shoulders and forward. Shoulders and forward. Let's repeat for six and open. Continue to scoop, pulling your belly in, draw your chin in towards your chest ever so slightly. Last four, three, keep breathing, two, last one, hold it here, weights to heart, 
or hands to your knees and inhale, scoop yourself forward. Connect the soles of your feet together and open your knees. Take a deep breath in, a little, uh, little arch of your spine and exhale, curl a little round, think cat pose. Again, inhale, sit up nice and tall and exhale, curl. All right, from here, stack your feet on the floor, place your weights down by your sides and then scoot the ball a little further back so that when you lower down, it lands right onto your shoulder blades. So hands behind your knees, sit up nice and tall like we did. And exhale, we roll down for transition, one vertebra at a time. Pause here when you can adjust the ball and then slide it right underneath your shoulder blades. Pause here, scoop your pelvis forward to find your neutral position so you're not arching too much. You're not totally tucked, you're in a nice neutral. Walk your heels in a few inches, heels in lines with your sits bones. Stack your palms, avoid interlacing your fingers. The palms stack behind your head and then lean back over the ball, a nice little stretch. And again, I'm gonna cue ball, but if you have the towel, it's the same thing. Everything I do with the ball, you do with the towel. And allow your elbows to open up nice and wide here. Allow your chest to open. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Oh, it feels so good on the chest, the pecs. Again, breathe in and breathe out. All right, take an inhale breath. Start to engage through your core. Knit your ribs together. Exhale, first chest lift. Gaze towards your belly button as you lift your shoulders up. Inhale, you bring it back down. And exhale, you lift it up. Continue just like that. Inhale as you lower, we're finding a little bit more range of motion as we lean over our prop. You exhale all of your breath at the top, so you're finding your maximum range of motion with your breath. Inhale lower, exhale to lift. Every time, think of hovering off of your ball so that you're not relying on the support so much. You're using your abdominals as much as you can. And lift, inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Let's go for two more like that. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep your ribs connected as you lean back. Exhale, lift. Hold it here. Little pulse forward. Forward. Root down through your feet. Keep your pelvis nice and stable. And think of lifting your shoulders, engaging through your upper abdominals here for eight. Seven will stay lifted in six, five, Four, gaze at your belly button. Three, two, on one, stay lifted. Now let's add rotation. Rotate right elbow towards left knee. Come through center, rotate left elbow right knee. Center inhale, rotate as you exhale. Center inhale, rotate as you exhale. And again, keep your feet stable, your hips stable. So it's just your shoulders and upper body moving side to side, right? You're finding that rotation through your upper and mid back, right? Your mid back rather, engaging your obliques. Let's go for four, three, two, back to center on one, pulse it out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more inhale, exhale, lean over the ball, take a nice little stretch, breathe deep breath in. And open up, exhale. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Let that on. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, chest lift. We've been here before. Now we hold. Bring your right shin to tabletop, followed by your left tabletop position. Bring your heels together, your knees apart, and flex your feet. Send your legs out into a diagonal, zipping up your inner thighs. And exhale, re-bend your knees. So out for two, and in for two, like froggy. We're mimicking what we would do on a reformer in our arm series, or even our feet and straps. We're here for three, and in, two, and in. Last one, and in, hold it here. Parallel your feet, bring your left shin uh, foot down to the floor, followed by your right, and lean over the ball. Ah, uh, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now, so now we're going to combine all those movements together for our hundreds. Take an inhale, breath. Exhale, chest lift. 
Lift your left shin to tabletop, followed by your right. Heels together, knees apart. Reach your right hand forward, followed by your left, preparing for our hundreds. Start to uh, flap your arms up and down as if you're slapping water against the, against the mat. Keep your arms nice and um, engaged. Either stay here with your heels or reach out for five counts. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and rebend your knees. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Keep going just like that. If you feel any tension behind your head, option to rest one or both hands behind your head, or you can even flatten your feet to the floor and continue with your hundreds. Uh, avoid bouncing on the ball so that you're not leaning forward or back you're staying nice and lifted and steady, and the only thing that's moving is your breath and your shoulders. We're here for 30 more counts. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Shh, 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 shh. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Pause here. One hand behind your head, followed by the other. Lower one foot down to the ground, followed by the other. And then lean back over your ball Ooh, for a nice stretch. Take an inhale through your nose. You can find a little bit of an arc, a little bit of a stretch through your belly. Breathe in and breathe out. These sort of stretches are so good for our posture, for our chest muscles to open. So allow yourself to be heavy, elbows towards the earth. One more breath in and breath out. All right, from here, inhale to prepare. Exhale, little chest lift for transition. Shimmy yourself down and adjust the ball so that it is right underneath your head. Right underneath your head. It's like a little pillow. I'm gonna scoot back. So if you're on your towel or you're on your ball, your gaze is sort towards your knees. This again mimics what we do on the reformer with our headrest tilted up. And here we're moving into our series of five. So place your hands down against the floor in a V position or by your hips. Raise one shin to parallel, followed by the other. This is where we start. So our series of five will be five continuous exercises, one after another. So watch the progression. It becomes quite challenging. Reach your right toes down to the floor to start. And exhale, come back through center, shins in line. Followed by the left, left toes down. And exhale, come back through center. Now we march it out, right toes tap, exhale center, left toes tap, exhale center. Keep going just like that. Be aware that you're remaining in your neutral alignment of your pelvis, so you're not arching or imprinting too much. Your pelvis is heavy against the floor, your hip bones point up toward the sky, and everything is engaged. Remember, Pilates is all abs all the time. Reach your toes forward and down so that you're moving from your entire hip versus just your knee. And you're lifting the weight of your leg back to center. Weight training for your abdominals. Let's repeat one more on each side. And center. Last one. And center. Next, both toes tap down. And exhale. Shh, bring it back into center. The two-legged weight is a lot more, right? and back to center. You can alternate one knee at a time if this double-legged variation is too much. You can either stay here, of course you can lift your head up, moving into a chest lift, or even reach one hand or both hands above you. Let's go for two more just like this. Exhale, center. Inhale, tap. And exhale, center. Pause here. Left shin remains where it is. Straighten your right leg to a diagonal. And then switch it out. Right knee in, left leg out. Single leg stretch. We switch and switch. It's an inhale. Inhale, followed by an exhale. Exhale. Keep going. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Whew. Even with my head on the ball, I can feel my abdominal, abdominals trembling to keep the alignment of my body. Keep breathing, legs on gears. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both shins back to center. Now stretch both legs out. Lift your feet over your hips, and then we'll sway your feet down the wall. So inhale up, and exhale down. You can either stay here, 
or slide your hands underneath you if you feel like you're losing the alignment of your pelvis. If you start to feel it in your lower back, you we lift and lower. Let's go for four and lower. Three, the lower you go to the ground, the more challenging it becomes. Two, last one, we'll feet, meet with feet overhead. Option to grab onto your thighs, a little stretch. Flex your feet and then point your toes. This is our break before our last exercise. Flex and point. One more time, flex and point. Moving into our last exercise, point your feet or point them. So it's a little flex point. Hands either underneath your hips or by your sides, moving into our scissors. Right leg up, left leg down, and then we switch and switch, switch and switch. You can move from bent knees, if you need to, into toe taps if that feels better, or legs straight. Let's count it down from eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back through center, bend your knees. Keep your heels together, knees separate, bend your knees into your chest and just rock side to side, stretching through your lower back. With your feet together and knees apart, you broaden across your lumbar sacral region. So it's a nice little expansion. And then that pressure of the floor against your back as you rock around, little massage. All right, from here, plant your feet on the floor, lift your chin toward your chest. Hand, one hand behind your head for support. Remove the ball and place your ball against your chest. Scoot up your mat if you need to in order to straighten your legs out in front of you. Reach your ball over your chest. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, chest lift, moving into our first roll up. Squeeze the ball. Keep the C curve in your spine. Pull your belly in and stretch the ball beyond your toes. Either stay here or place the ball in between your ankles. Continue to reach forward. You can flex or point your feet. Exhale, we start to lower down. That little squeeze of the ball in between the ankles provides a little bit of uh, that um, sensory uh, contact that we need in order to engage our legs as we move through the roll up. So we roll up as we inhale and exhale to roll down. Modifications here, option to bend your knees or even grab onto your thighs and allow yourself to use your arms to pull yourself up. So we're moving with integrity of where we're at today. Roll up and roll down. The ball is in between your ankles, squeeze it. Another variation is you can place your heels on top of the ball, making it a little bit more challenging because you add that little extra lift. But when you do so, you're pressing down on your heels so that you, again, are using that sensory contact to keep your legs engaged. Let's move up and down for three more counts. Whew. And forward and back down. Avoid letting your ribs flare as you reach the bottom. Ooh, up. Ooh, much more challenging today. <laughs> and down. Last one, we'll hold it up. Exhale to look. Ooh, we hold it here. Reach over for your toes and take a nice forward fold stretch, softening your knees if you need to. Just a little forward fold. Pull your belly in though to maintain that length through your lower back, the engagement of the front of your body to open the back of your body. All right, roll up to a seated position. Place your ball once again in between your ankles and flex your feet. I'm going to face forward now. All right, moving into our spine stretch here. Reach your arms forward in line with your shoulders. Roll your shoulders down your back. Now sit up nice and tall into your sits bones. If you feel like your hamstrings are tight today, you can bend your knees. Or for me, I like to sit on top of a towel in order to allow my pelvis to kind of tip forward. It helps me with my alignment. From here, take a deep breath in to prepare. Exhale, think of diving the crown of your head in between your knees. Up and over as you round down, reaching your arms parallel forward beyond your toes. And then inhale, you roll back up to starting position. Again, exhale up and over like a waterfall. And then inhale to scoop back up. 
Imagine your lower back is remaining exactly where it is as you fold forward and down. So it's from your belly button and up that you're finding this flexion in your body. Exhale forward and down, pulling your belly in on itself. And then scoop back up. A couple more times like that. Exhale, open and over. And then inhale, back up. Last time. Exhale, up and over. And inhale, back up. Pause here. I'm going to sit off of the towel. Grab onto your ball. Grab onto your ball. Roll down for transition. Exhale as you scoop and lower down one vertebra at a time. Make sure that your weights are nearby. We're going to use them. Bend your knees one at a time. Pick up your hips and slide now your prop, your towel or your ball underneath your sacrum. So it's a little shelf now for your sacrum. If you feel bulging in your mid back, the ball is too high. So scoot it down towards your tailbone. You should feel like a nice shelf and you should maintain neutral pretty much in your hips. Rest your hands down by your sides in the V position. Lift your right shin to tabletop followed by your left. Now we do our series of five in this position. So we'll start with our toe taps. Left toes tap down and then exhale back to center. Right toes tap and exhale center. So now we have more range of motion to go in these variations because our hips are lifted a couple inches off of the ground. And again, to make this more challenging, you can place your hands behind your head and move into a little chest lift or reach your arms up towards the ceiling, keeping your chest nice and open. But again, it's five continuous exercises. You'll start to feel it even with your head on the ground. Let's go for four more here. Last three, try to stay nice and stable on the ball. And then this focused, uh, focus of with our hips up will be a lot more for the inner and outer thighs too. Last one, back to center now, toe taps. Reach down with both feet and exhale, bring it back in. Reach it down, bring it back in. Three more like that, we tap and lift. Try to find extension through your hips so you're reaching forward and down. And back to center, pause it here, single leg stretch. Right knee in, left leg out and switch, and switch, just an inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, keep going just like that, legs are on gears, avoid swaying your hips side to side, so you're using your abdominals to stay as steady as possible on top of your balance beam, work here for six, five, four, both knees bent, and three, two, on one, both knees bent, heels together, knees apart. We extend for two and bring it back for two, like froggy. Out for two, the lower you are to the ground, the more challenging it is, in for two. Hands by your sides are an option, out for two, in for two. I like flex feet, but you can point and flex, a combination of both, but do zip up your inner thighs as you extend. Pause it here, now parallel your feet. Reach your feet up and then sweep it down up and sweep it down again stable on the ball so you're not arching lots of abdominals here to lift the weight of your legs back to center let's go for four more like that lower and lift last three and lift final two and lift last one Hold it up from here. Open your legs up to a V position, feet parallel. As you come back to your center, zip your legs up across the midline, right foot on top, and then the left. So it's a little crisscross. Then we reopen. Crisscross as you come through center and reopen. Crisscross and open. Crisscross and open. Keep going just like that. As you V out your legs, moving into that abduction, your feet remain in the same line, so you're not tipping off center. Think of the um, think of moving in a parallel position, right? Synchronized movement. Here we go. Let's go for four. We'll pause at the top. Three, two, and one. Pause at the top. Just continue the crisscross. Crisscross. Now walk your feet down the wall, and walk your feet up the wall with your crisscross down the wall and up the wall. Last four, so we're using our inner thighs to cross and cross, connecting to the lower belly. Last two, 
and up. Final one down and one up. Pause it here, parallel your feet, bend your knees, keep your heels together, knees apart, and then bend your knees into your chest. Now your seat is lifted off of the ground a couple inches, so it's a little bit more of a stretch for your lower back. Nice stretch for your hip flexors, back side to side. All right, come back through center, plant your right foot down to the ground, followed by your left, hands down by your hips, lift your hips up, remove the ball to the side, and then lower yourself back down one vertebra at a time. Preparing for our bridge work. Here I like to use the weights underneath my hands. So your weights are horizontal to your mat, and your palms just rest on top of them. You're pressing down with the flat palms so much that your upper arms and elbows lift off the floor. Heels in line with your sits bones. Start in your neutral alignment. Take a deep breath in to prepare. Exhale, scoop your pelvis up and slowly press through your heels and hands as you rise up into your bridge pose, one vertebra at a time. Take a deep breath in at the top. And exhale, slowly take it down one vertebra at a time. Let's do that again, nice and slow. Up, all the way. Articulate up, and then articulate down. A nice opening for the hip flexors after all of that uh, work, abduction and adduction work. One more time, up. Hold it here on the lift. Parallel your inner thighs. Now bend or hinge from your hips. Tap your hips down, and then lift straight up. We tap and lift, tap and lift, keep going. So a little hinge up and down. Instead of articulating up and down, we lift and lower. If you can keep your hips at a hover the whole time, even better. Initiate the movement from your core though, pressing through your heels and your hands a lot. Let's go for six and lift, five and lift, four, lift, three, lift, we'll hold in two, up, hold it on one, little pulses here, up. Right at the top range, the smile of your glute, that's where you're squeezing up. Here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay lifted on one, bring your knees together now. Knees remain together, we hinge and tap, and then lift, hinge and tap, and lift. Now inner thighs are working oh so hard to keep your knees together. The range of motion is a little smaller. That's okay, we're here for four. We'll stay lifted in three, two, stay lifted on one, little pulse now, eight, seven, right at the top range, little squeeze and squeeze, four, five, four, three, two, and one, stay lifted, toe heel, your feet together, lift up a little higher, and then lower your hips down for a moment to rest. We're moving into our single leg work. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your hips, keep your knees together. Now left leg is your foundation, lift your right shin to tabletop, level out your hips. Now lower your right foot down, lift your left shin to tabletop, a little march. Now we alternate, left foot down, right leg up, Right foot down, left leg up, keep going, march it out. Press into your palms, you should feel your triceps working oh so hard to stabilize your body. Hips are nice and level, you can either stay here or straighten your legs, moving into a kick at the top. Let's go for eight, and lift, stay lifted. Seven, six, final five, four, three, two, on one, both legs together. Let's pulse it out, little lift at the top range. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, stay lifted, rise up onto your tippy toes, and then lower down one vertebra at a time. Oh, that final roll down feels so good. Bend your knees into your chest. Let's take a happy baby pose. Capture the inner or outer edges of your feet. You can grab onto your shins or your thighs also, whatever is accessible. Pin the back of your skull to the mat, your shoulders, and your tailbone, and rock side to side. Open your inner hips. You can even stretch one leg out at a time if that feels good to you. Ah, take a deep breath in and a breath out. All right, from here, squeeze your knees and inner thighs together. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, move into a chest lift. 
with your shins parallel to the floor. From here, we move into double leg stretch. Stretch your left legs out into a diagonal, arms overhead, biceps by your ears. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, out, and exhale in. Reach it out, keep your shoulders lifted. Exhale in. For modifications, you can lower your head down and just move your arms and your legs out into a diagonal. Or stay lifted, let's go for four, and in three, and in final two, and in last one. Hold it in, grab onto the back of your thighs, straighten your legs to the sky, lift your shoulders a little higher. Drop your right leg down, rotate towards the left, grabbing onto your thigh. Either stay here or reach your hands beyond your thigh and pulse. You're here for eight. You can also bend your right knee, plant your foot to the floor. We're here for six, five, four, three. We'll switch in two, on one, up and over, switch legs, left leg down, right leg up. We pulse it out for eight, seven. You can always bend your left knee as you reach and pulse. Here for five, four. We're going to switch to the left side in three, two, and one, up and over. We pulse for six now, five. Four, we switch in three, two, one, up and over, other side, pulse for six, five, four, three, two, and one, to the other side, pulse for four now, three, two, and one, switch it out to the right, pulse four, three, two, one, to the left, two pulses, one, and two, now to the right, two pulse, one, and two, single counts here, left, and right, left and right, here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come through center, lower your head down to the ground, rock side to side, now gaze right and left. Whew. Open your arms to a T, inhale, breath. Exhale, let your knees fall to the right as you gaze left. Let's take a supine twist after all that work. Whew. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, come through center and switch to the other side. Supine twist, lower your knees to the left as you gaze right. Keep your shoulders anchored. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, come through center. From here, roll up for transition. Straighten your legs out in front of you or your knees can be bent. Reach up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in. Exhale, chest lift. Option to grab onto your thighs or roll all the way up to a seated, take a forward fold stretch. Ooh, that just feels so natural to do. We need it after all that hamstring work in our glute bridge. All right, come to a seat, I'm gonna grab some water. How you doing today? <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right, if you have weights, we're going to use weights next. If not, a couple water bottles or something will do or you don't even have to use the weights, no worries. All right, from here, come on to all fours position. Here we're going to work our arms, our triceps, and our glute. It's like a full body workout right here. So all fours position, hands over your, underneath your shoulders, and knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers really wide and press into your fingertips and your knuckles like you're gripping the mat. That'll protect your wrists. Lengthen your tailbone back and pull your belly in. Let's start with some cat cows. Exhale to a cat pose. Round your spine. Lift your mid back to the sky. Open across your shoulders. Let your head hang heavy as you pull your belly in. And then inhale, find a nice neutral long spine. Moving into a little extension or cow pose. Stretch your chest forward through across your belly. Again, exhale to cat round. And inhale to a little cow. Okay, come through center, tabletop. Locate your weight. Weight in your left hand to start. Bend your left elbow in close to your body. You can either stay here with your knees where they are or send your right leg behind you with your toes tucked to start. From here, we do a tricep kickback. So straighten your left elbow and re-bend. We straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Option to stay here or lift your right leg off of the floor. Now a little brain teaser here. As you bend your elbow, you bend your knee like a hamstring curl. 
straighten your arm and kick out. So straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Your thigh is parallel to the floor, it does not move. So you're just working your hamstring in and stretching it out. Press into your right hand a lot. Keep your head in line with the rest of your spine. Find that full extension of your left arm, keeping your weight higher than your hip, a little higher. Let's go for four. We'll keep it lifted in three, two, keep it lifted on one. Now flip your weight towards the ceiling. Lower your hand down in line with your left knee. Tap your toes if you're moving your leg also. And then exhale, lift everything up. So we tap and lift, tap and lift. If you're feeling this too much in your wrist, push more weight towards your left knee. So more weight into your glute. That's it. Keep your hips squared. Let's go for four. We'll stay lifted in three. Is your belly engaged? Two. On one, stay lifted. Now we pulse it out. Eight. Seven. The little lift of your arm and leg. Leg. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pause it here. Keep your legs steady. Now externally rotate your shoulders so your weight is towards your hip. And then flip your weight back up. So we draw the weight to the hip and then flip it up. Back and up. I'm going to come closer to you so you see what I'm doing. So you're just moving your shoulder from internal rotation to external. Internal to external. Let's go for eight, seven, six. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Rebend your right elbow. Lower your weight down. Lower your knees down. Inhale to a little cow pose. Exhale to a cat. Whew. Whew, that was a lot of work. You'll feel it in your triceps. <laughs> Inhale, little cow. And exhale, cat. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. So now weight into your right hand. Bend your right elbow to start. Send your left leg back. If you're doing the legs like you did on the other side, tricep kick back. Straighten your arm and bend. Straighten and bend. Continue to stabilize through your shoulders. Organize your shoulders on your back. Head in line with the rest of your spine. If you're picking up your left leg and moving into the hamstring curl, as you bend your elbow, you bend your knee and straighten and kick. That's it. Here we go. Eight. Last seven. Flex your left foot so you're engaging your hamstring. We have five, four, three, two, on one, keep it back, flip your weight up, lower your weight in line with your knee, toes tap, and then lift, tap, and lift. Keep going. Keep your hips squared as you extend your left leg back, right? So you're not opening your hip, your chest is squared. Let's go for six, final five. Keep it lifted in four, three, two, on one, keep it lifted, little pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just the arm, externally rotate your shoulder, and then internal rotation. So weight to your hip, weight up. Here we're eight. And you can do without the weight, still a lot of work. Seven, six, five, four, press through your heel, three, two, and one, bend your elbow, lower your weight down, re-bend your knees. This time, bring your feet together, separate your knees, and push back to a little rest pose, or child's pose. Hips to heels. Ooh, from here, one of my favorite lateral stretches. Walk your hands off of your mat to the left side. Push your hands against the ground as you push your hips towards your heels, and stretch your right side body a lot. Ooh. Feels so good. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Walk your hands through center. Hands off of your mat to the right side. Push your hips towards your heels. Now stretch your left side body with a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Whew. All right, come through center. I'm going to face the top of our mat, my mat. Make sure your weights are nearby. Place them towards the top of your mat. If you don't have weights, no worries. From here, lower your left forearm down to the ground, followed by your right. You can either keep your arms in parallel or interlace your fingers. Walk your knees back to a modified forearm plank, scooping your pelvis down to engage your belly or tuck your toes. Here we move into our hip dips. Lower your right hip down to the floor and then come back to your center. Left hip down, 
and center. Alternate right and left, right and left. If your knees are on the ground, you can do the same thing by act, activating and contracting your oblique. So a little lateral movement side to side. We're here for eight, seven, six, five. Back to center in four, three, two, and one. Back to center. Lower your knees down to the ground. Untuck your toes. Lower your hips to the floor. Flatten your forearms onto your mat. It's called Sphinx Pose. Think of ancient Egypt. Press into your palms. Pull your chest forward. A little stretch. Take an inhale here. And an exhale. From here, lower your chest down to the ground. If you have your weights, place your hands on top of your weights or your water bottles. I like to use cylindrical things so that you can roll the weights up and down. If you don't have them, hands flat to the floor, forehead to your palms. We're moving into a, speed, uh, a swan prep using the weights today. Press into your pubic bone in the tops of your feet. On your inhale, slide your shoulders down your back first, then start to pick up your chest and lift into a little extension. Now, if you do so, your weights pull in towards you. Exhale, you lower back down. So it's an inhale to lift up, rolling the weights in. Exhale to lower it down. And if you don't have the weights, your hands are underneath your forehead and you inhale, lift everything off the floor, forehead connect to your palms, exhale, lower. So essentially it's the same thing. We're working on our upper back extension and lower. Up for two, lower for two. Four more just like that. Press into your pubic bone, up for two. And lower for two. Up for two. And lower for two. Last one. Up for two. Lower for two. Hold it here. Flip your weights up onto their sides, onto the belt. If you don't have the weights, your pinkies are down, thumbs are up. Lift your head off of the mat a little bit. We're moving into our swimmers. Lift your left leg up, right bicep by your ear. If your weight is in your hand, just adding a little bit more weight. And then you lower it down. Same thing on the left. Left arm up, right leg up. Reach across the room and lower. Again, slow. Right arm, left leg lifts and lengthens. And we lower. Left arm lifts and lengthens. And then we lower. Let's do one more time slow with our weights. Lift and lengthen and lower. Lift and lengthen, opposite arm, opposite leg and lower. Now, option, release the weights. Lift everything off the floor. Stretch in all directions like you're Superman, and then begin to swim. Opposite hand, opposite foot higher, and then you switch. You can move slow or pick up the pace, move a little faster, swimmers. Continue to stabilize on your hips so you're not rocking side to side. Your breath is like the hundred. Inhale through your nose for five. Exhale out the mouth for five. Just 10 counts here. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And release. Stack your hands underneath your forehead. Rest your forehead on top of your palms. Bring your toes together and let your heels roll apart, releasing your lower back. You can also bend your knees and windshield wiper your legs side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, from here, slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up to all fours, tabletop. Walk your knees in a few inches. Let's find another little rest pose or child's pose. Important to find a little bit of flexion in your back after you do those spinal extension exercises. Whew, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, from here, inhale to all fours. Prepare yourself for your plank pose. So shoulders over wrists, fingers spread nice and wide. Send one leg back, followed by the other. High plank, high push-up position. Moving into our alternating knee pull in. Lift your right leg off of the floor. Pull your knee into your chest. Straighten your leg back out, and then tuck your toes into high plank, followed by the left. Lift your left toes. Pull your knee in. Straighten it back and tuck. Now march it out, right knee in and back, left knee in and back. As you're marching in place, 
Keep your shoulders over your hips, very nice. Avoid hiking your hips so your, everything stays nice and level and you're just marching one knee in at a time. If you were standing, it would look like a nice controlled march, like a soldier. We're here for eight, seven, six, final five, high plank in four, three, two, high plank on one, step it back, tuck your chin to your chest, Lift your hips towards the sky for a pike, pike pose. Send your heels down towards the earth. Lift your tailbone to the sky. Press into your palms and spiral your triceps towards your feet to create a little bit more space for your upper back and neck. Sway your head side to side, nod it no. And then end on a positive note, yes. Nod yes. All right, from here, soften your knees. Walk your hands towards your feet at the back of your mat. A little ragdoll pose. Let your knees bend very generously. Upper body hangs forward and down. You can grab onto your elbows or allow your arms to dangle. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, our first roll up. Shift your weight to the balls of your feet. You can slide a little paper slice of space underneath your heels for extra balance. Pull your belly in, and as you inhale, slowly begin to roll up, stacking your spine one vertebra at a time. Head and shoulders is the last thing to arise. Reach your arms overhead, inhale, breath. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Now we roll down the same way. Pull your belly in, and slowly lower down as if you were sliding off of the wall one vertebra at a time. Soften your knees, plant your hands out in front of you, and walk back forward to high plank, high push-up position. Shift forward towards your tippy toes and lower to your knees. I'm gonna face you. Separate your hands wide. Wide arm push-up series is next. So I like to move from my knees, but you can tuck your toes if you want. Wide arm push-ups, thumbs on the mat, pinkies off. We lower down for two, pointing your elbows out in a low by, uh, V diagonal towards the back of your mat. And exhale, you lift up for two. So we lower down for two and lift up for two. Just like that, lead with your chest. Keep your chin in, uh, tucked ever so slightly so that your head is in line with the rest of your spine. We lower down for two, lift up for two. Four more like that, down for two, up for two. Press into your entire, entire palm to lift and lower. Two more like that, down for two, up for two. Last one, down for two. Up for two, from here, narrow your hands. Come back into your high plank, inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, pike your hips up. Now a little faster, soften your knees, walk your hands towards your feet at the back of your mat. Avoid rocking, so it's all about control of the abdominals. Then we inhale to roll up to standing, stacking the spine one vertebra at a time. Inhale your arms overhead, and exhale, we repeat that. Tuck your chin to your chest and roll down. This standing roll down is actually one of the traditional Pilates exercises. Soften your knees, walk your hands forward, high plank, high push in position. Shift forward towards your tippy toes and lower your knees to the ground for narrow push ups. Narrow push ups. Keep your hands where they are. On or off your knees here. We lower down for two. Your elbows point straight back. And then we lift up for two. For narrow push ups, your upper arms are close to your body, but not squeezing in entirely. And you can lower a couple inches, that looks good. But as long as you stay above 90 degrees in your shoulders, you're protecting your shoulders. Let's repeat that four more times. So down for two, up for two. Think of tucking your chin in a little bit more so that your head remains in line with the rest of your spine. Last two like that, down for two, up for two. Down for two. Up for two, from here, hips to heels, press back into a little rest pose, child's pose. Woo, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale, roll up to seated on your heels. Roll up to seated. Have a seat to one side and swing your legs out in front of you. Let's take a mermaid stretch. So cross your shins, one on top of the other. Sit up nice and tall, reach both arms overhead. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, right hand down, left hand up and over. You can bend your elbow, lower your elbow down to the floor. 
push your left sit bone against the ground so you're not hiking your hips. You'll get that nice stretch across your entire side body, shoulder down your back. And again, we would mimic this exercise on the reformer. We like to incorporate those postures, those exercises on inner mat class. Inhale, come up to center. And let's do it to the other side. So left hand down, right hand up and over, anchor down to your right sit bone. From here, you can rotate your right hand to the floor, press your hips towards your heels, pulling your belly in so it's a little bit of a rotation and stretch. And then inhale, reopen your chest. Come back through center and we'll repeat that on the other side. So cross your right shin on top so that we're balanced. We'll do the same routine with this uh, chin in front. So let's start on the left side. So left hand down, up and over with the right arm. Anchor down to your sit bone. Whew, breathe in. I love side body stretches. They are my favorite. Come through center. Now right hand down, left hand up and over. And then here we add a little rotation. Rotate your chest down. Pull your belly in though. Keep engaging. Very important to keep that engagement to protect the back of your body. And then reopen your chest. Come back through center. From here, one more time, we transition to our high plank. I promise this is the last one. High plank, high push-up position. Press back to your pike pose. We're gonna hold the pike now for a stretch. So bend into your right knee and seal your left heel down to the ground. A little stretch in the back line of your left leg, your calf all the way up to the hamstring. And then alternate. So left knee bends a lot, right heel sinks down. Straighten both knees. Walk your hands towards your feet, just a couple inches in. Right hand to your left ankle. You can take a little stretch here, gazing underneath your left underarm. And then come back through center. Right hand is your foundation. Reach towards your left ankle or right ankle. You can bend your knees a lot and then straighten your heels a little bit or straighten through your knees. Come back through center. Now keep your knees soft. Walk your hands towards your feet at the back of your mat. Pull your belly in and inhale, roll up. This is the last roll up, so make it count. Stack your spine, visualize each notch of your vertebra stacking one upon the other until your head is the last thing to arise. Reach your arms overhead here. As you exhale, sweep your hands down parallel to the floor and rise up onto your tippy toes. We have one more exercise standing before we end class. Make sure that your feet are parallel, right underneath your hips. So narrow your stance just a bit. Yeah, that's it. From here, keep your left knee straight, bend your right knee, remain on the ball of your right foot. And now switch, rise up high onto your tippy toes, right heel down, bend to your left knee. And now we switch and switch. So it's a little march. Here we're mobilizing our ankles, working all those little tiny muscles in our ankles, right? Come high into your tippy toes before you alternate. So tippy toe and alternate, tippy toe and alternate. Yes, it's called prancing. We would do this footwork on a reformer. Again, keep your hips nice and level, core engaged. After a while, you'll start to feel it in your ankles and your calves. We want that burn before we're out of here. All right, let's go for four, three, both heels up in two. On one, both heels up, balance. Now lower both heels down, tap and lift. You tap and lift. As soon as your heels touch the floor, you lift. It's like the floor is hot. Hot. And notice if your ankles roll out or in. That's important to notice because we want to be nice and smooth up and down vertically instead of side to side. Whew, calves burning. Let's go for four. We'll stay lifted in three, two, stay lifted on one. Option to stay here, reach one arm overhead, followed by the other, hold for four. Three, two, on one, re-parallel your arms. Now we lower our hands by our sides, our heels down for the count of four. Three, coming to standing in two, on one, land your heels, rock forward and, uh, forward and back, side to side, close your eyes. Stand up nice and tall. 
Now feel the foundation of the earth beneath you, all that heat and strength you've created in your body through the practice of flow and concentration, of moving with precision and intention. Take a breath in for yourself, gratitude for making it onto your mat today, into your practice. And I thank you for allowing me to guide you. As a symbol of gratitude, take a deep breath in together. And exhale it out. Bring your hot palms together and give yourself a round of applause. Woo! Thanks for making it to class today. One sec, I'm gonna unmute you, or unmute yourself so I can. Thank you very much.